Hello there! This is Line in a Box and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial for the new PixelFX Designer 2.0 that CodeMano just released. The new program has so many amazing features. It has a completely new interface, a completely new node system. It has basically undergone a complete overhaul. So let's jump right into it and create a new project. Now, as you can see, the new version has a completely different UI. In the upper left corner, you have the project tree. In the project tree, you can see and organize all the emitters, particles and images of your project. Then in the top center, you have the canvas, where the action happens. In the new version, you can resize the canvas to any size you want. Here I'm changing it to 800 by 600. Now look at that beautiful resized canvas. In the bottom left corner, you can set the particle, emitter and image parameters. For example, I can edit the emitter's blend mode, add movement to it or edit its overall shape and size. Now, with the new feature, you can make your animation so much more captivating by adding images to it. By clicking on the image icon at the bottom of the project tree, I am creating a new image. Now that I've created the image object, I can load an image into my animation. Similar to the first version, you have a scale slider that you can reach over the project settings on the bottom right. With it, you can pixelize your entire animation. Besides the new cool feature to load images into your animation, you also have a brand new node system. The node system allows you to apply a wide array of effects and movement to either individual or all the emitters and images. Just for demonstration I am creating this brightness node, which I then connect to the input node. Once the input node is connected, I can play around and apply the brightness effect however I wish. The rendering, which you can do in the bottom right corner, is also way more simple than the previous version still giving you the option to render either as a loop or a burst. That's been all for this tutorial, it's been a quick overview. In my next tutorial I'll be talking about how to create and modify particles and emitters. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want to get notified when the next part of my tutorial series comes out, feel free to subscribe. See you soon!